def is the keyword in Groovy programming language that is used with variables and functions. In this video, we are going to see what is def keyword all about, where it is used and how to use that. And also we will see where we should not use it. So let's get started with the uh, lesson and see. So first we are going to see the dev with variables. So where should we use this dev? There comes time when we are not sure of type of the variable that we are uh, defining. Uh, type from type I mean uh, the like uh, integer type, double type or some custom type like object. Okay. You are defining some class and uh, using that as a type and you are defining the variable with that type. So you do not you are not sure of that type. So in that case you can take advantage of def keyword and let the system decide at runtime what actual type it is holding. Okay. So here I have used def keyword to store the integer value. So if you have seen earlier video and uh, if not if you are aware variable declaration goes like this at the first this this two highlighted line stores some location fixes some memory in system to hold the value and this is the value that is residing at this location that memory location and i can access this with this variable so now this def type variable is storing is holding integer type and in the second one it is same def type as a string one variable name holding a string value okay in the third one it is the same def type with the name list is holding a list of values okay and here i it is holding a custom object that new man i have declared so you can see the custom class i have uh, created it like this just for demo so it is now holding a custom object and I am print, getting the value from there and it is being decided at runtime what actual type these variables are holding. Okay. So if you are familiar with Java, you can relate it with the word object. Okay. So I can replace this def with object and everything will work fine. So for now, so this is one and here I have compared the actual instance type. What, of what actual type they are. So int1 is of integer, string1 holding string, list name is a hold is of type list and good man is of type man. So for now, this is the function one. For now, just comment it out, run the program. So this will work fine, okay? Because they are of like we are not doing any interoperation, we are just holding a values and it is going to print. There is no interoperation going to perform between these variables. So that's okay, not a problem. Till that time, it's not a problem. But the moment you try to do some operation with this, okay, then it's a problem. Suppose you want to do some operation with this and this because both are same type. You can do some operation right so suppose i want to do something def where three i have given another type and i want to perform add operation or something int one plus good man what will happen let's see at compile time it is not complaining because it does not know what actual type they are holding they are thinking that they are of type def and they're good and it is the responsibility of the programmer to make sure that they are of type and they are interoperable. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I see missing method skip exception, no signature of integer. This is applicable for argument types, this values, this. So some exception you are getting. It means they are not interoperable. You cannot operate these. This problem came because we thought that this the, the variables are of same type and we can interoperate them. So that's a mistake. We need to be 
very cautious while using def keyword only when we are not sure of the type of the variable and it is decided at runtime only then we should go with def it is very convenient we can use that it's not an issue but we should be careful now move to the method how we can use def keyword with methods i can write function normally what do we do uh, how do we define function we define some uh, this this is the access level how do we access this so this is the static that, so that we can access it directly by giving the class name there so it is directly i am able to access it because i am accessing it from a static method okay so we do we define the type what return type it is then name of the method and then return uh, then do the stuff that you want to do inside method so what it is returning it is actually returning a string but at compile time it doesn't know it is a string it can it can return any type it can return 1 2 3 4 it will not complain it can return any custom object it is not going to complain to me see there is no compilation error okay so just go ahead and see how it works so i am printing here my man1 and getting the type here okay it is def so in this case it will work fine not a problem but we will fail it we will do something uh, in that case where it will fail so it is printing the man okay now let's change the return type of this uh, now, now let's change the type of this variable from def to int and let's see how it behaves. At compile time, it is not complaining and it understand that the things that it is returning, it can be of type uh, custom. It is It can be of type integer. That's not an issue. At compile time, it is not complaining, complaining because, because it does not know that. Let's run and see how it is uh, doing at runtime. It will throw an exception type and link to be cast exception is throwing it because it is trying to cast a man of type into int that is why it is complaining so let's do the other way around now change the return uh, change the return value that it is returning and change it to man only so just give it a string i am the man and print man1 now again it will throw an exception because it is expecting of type man but it is returning a string okay just run it and see the exception okay 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 so yeah you see so this is the kind of thing that def is you can go and play around and do the more things with this so you can relate this def keyword with object that is in java uh, that we use for generic things but uh, they are same okay kind of uh, you can use object um, let's go so it's all about def keyword that i wanted to share and go ahead and play around with this keyword and let me know if you found it useful or not and uh, also let me know if you face any issue in programming with Duff and anything in Ruby, I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.